we've stranded ourselves in the middle <laughs> Thank of you. nowhere. <laughs> To be honest, we are confused. Through our travels, we seek to understand the world. We don't shy away from exploring our darker corners in search for light, as much as we want to make sense of the special regions of our planet, to understand and break down the keys to how they find more daily joy or longevity than others. And on this quest, there is one enigma that's been tickling our brains for some time now, the happiest country in the world. As the US, the only country that has the pursuit of happiness written as a right in its Declaration of Independence fell outside of the top 20 happiest countries in the world for the first time this year, one wonders, how can another country top the rankings as the happiest country in the world seven years in a row? Yet very little is actually known about what makes this place so persistently happy. We've been scratching our heads over this, and we can't seem to find any clear answers online. And so, if we're honest, as current skeptics of this statistic, we went on the search for happiness in the happiest country in the world, the small northern nation near the Arctic Circle, Finland. Okay, time to go to Finland. I'll see you there. Okay. Yeah, man. The world's happiest country. Welcome. This is it, huh? Um, I believe it is. So let's just talk to some people and see if we can find anyone to cooperate. Hello, hello. We just want to say congratulations to being the world's happiest uh, country for seven years at that time, yeah. So. What about it? Are you from Finland? Yes. Congratulations to being the happiest country in the world for the seventh time in a row, yeah. <laughs> I have hard to believe it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're like, <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> 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 Really? For the seventh time in a row. Yes, 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 yeah. When it's already the seventh time, you don't feel so much. <laughs> Why are we the happiest? Yeah. Like, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> Why are we? <laughs> well, we figured this wasn't going to be easy, and that staying in the capital would likely not give us the adventure or the answers we are looking for. And so, a few days ago, the spark for this trip actually came from our beloved in house positivity man. Stefan, after he made a random phone call with someone on the internet to book a sauna. I call a dude, his name is Nico, but he has invited us to go to Pieksamäki, where he lives. And we are invited to a party, a village party, with like people from the entire town. <laughs> and it's happening this Saturday, in 48 hours. This Saturday? This Saturday. Wow. So... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> where, where are you taking me, bro? <laughs> you heard that correctly. We are heading to a 90s themed village party in the middle of nowhere in the depths of this country. Do you think we'll find the secret to happiness here? I, I think so. So we're going to Pieksemeki tomorrow. Why? It's going to be really, really small place. We're going to Pieksemeki. Do you know that place? Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to come with us? No. No. <laughs> yeah, we, yes. we, we are going there tomorrow. <laughs> Good luck for you. <laughs> Why do people keep saying that? <laughs> Can we have a meeting? What the f are we doing? We've flown here to Finland. Yeah. Because you said this is going to be a really good party. <laughs> yep. And so far, every person we've said we're going to the, this town is laughing at us. We feel it would be rude, however, to come uninvited and empty handed. So strategically, we teamed up with this guy. Nico, who owns a sauna truck. Yes, so you're a sauna truck entrepreneur. Hey, yeah. You see, sauna, sauna master. Wow. Saunas are basically one of the most important aspects of life in Finland. The tradition goes back for thousands of years. So we figured that bringing one with us wherever we go would be the ultimate way to break the ice with locals. Actually, I think it's a great time to tell you that I have another surprise. We trusted Nico, the owner of the sauna truck, but he reached out to me and he said, would you like to meet World Sauna Championship, Timo Kaukonen. He's like the world number one in heat resistant and he's friend with him and he invited us to meet him tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do sauna with the most heat resistant man in the world tomorrow morning. Well, that's f***ing weird and kind of cool. Our adventure is escalating by the second and this next part may indeed be one of the important components of what we believe to be the Finnish happiness equation that we will be slowly uncovering throughout our experience in the country. 
You see, Finland has more saunas than cars. And if you look at a map of saunas in Finland, it looks like this. 90% of Finnish people state that they sauna at least once a day. And in 2020, saunas were inscribed on the UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage List. But within the mainstream sauna world, there is a subculture pushing the human limits to the extreme. And within that subculture, one man stands above the rest, Timo Kaukonen, a five-time sauna endurance champion. He's received a somewhat legendary yet complicated status after the infamous 2010 final, where the Russian competing against him died, and he himself landed in a coma with serious skin damage. After this incident, the competition was discontinued. However, despite this horrible accident, Timo's love for saunas and extreme temperatures has not changed. And in incredible fashion, we will get to go sauna for the first time in the kingdom of saunas with the master of heat resistance himself. Where are we heading today? Bum fuck nowhere, Finland. <laughs> we're gonna do a party. Party in PX okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you going to PX okay? <laughs> we, we, we are on a search for happiness. And you're going to PX okay? <laughs> the road trip to the most heat resistant man in the world begins. Town in Finland right now. Hey, Miko. Thomas. <laughs> Stefan. Yeah, we yeah. Hello here, Thomas. Thomas. Stefan. Nice. Thank you, Timo. You know that Finland was voted the happiest country in the world for seven years in a row. <coughs> do you think the sauna could have anything to do with it? No, ne varma arva mitä mieltä mä siitä. No, Suomessa sauna kulttuuri on se on meille niin joka päivä ne juttu. Pois sano melkein kaikille. Mut itellä se on ollut nuoruudesta asti niin kuulunut päivittäiseen. He's probably talked a lot about the accident. You know, did, did that ever change anything about how he felt about sauna or is it still something that he loves to do? Ei, se ei muuttunut mihinkään. Et se on, totta kai, niin kuin mä sanoin, niin se oli vaikeeta alku. Mm. Ja lääkärit sanoi, että mä en pysty enää ikinä mene saunaan, mut siinä oli hirveä kaipuu heti. Et kun nää kuusi viikkoa piti mut tajuttomana sen onnettomuuden jälkeen ja lääkäri, kenen Kenen kanssa mä olin ekan ruvennut juttelemaan, niin mä olin sille kysellyt siltä, että milloin mä saan mennä saunaan. Ja se oli sanonut, että vittu, pitää nukuttaa uudestaan. <laughs> mutta tota, sinne oli vaan niin kova kaipuu sinne saunaan. Ja se, mut, niin kuin, se teki päällekin hyvää, kun pystyi ruveta saunaan. I'm a little worried about how hot the sauna is going to be here. Um, <laughs> because I don't know if we're talking about the same experience. <laughs> se selviää kohta, kun hyvää tonne. Ihan like, per, perussauna. We're gonna find out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, this is your home. This is, can't be real. Oh my god. We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> but before we hop into what would be the hottest sauna of our lives, we first want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Copilot Fitness, who's offering a 14 day free trial. Link in the description below. Having a consistent workout routine is hard, especially for us, where one day we're living normally here in Paris to the next day feeling our skin burn off. What level are we at? Ah. But with Copilot Fitness, you get matched with a personalized trainer who understands your needs and goals, reminds you of when to work out so that you don't have to think about it, and can adjust your workout so that you don't need any equipment for it, which for us means we can stay consistent even when we're on the road or inside an oven. Oh my ears. We've been using Copilot for a month now, and after having an onboarding call with our PT Nate, well, it's great to meet you. <laughs> we've gone to learn new exercises we hadn't tried before with proper form, along with keeping us accountable to go to the gym and stay consistent. But thanks to Nate pushing me, guiding me, I'm here again. So yeah, go, go pilot. So if you are finally ready to take control of your fitness journey, you can check out the link in the description below to get 14 days for free with your own personal trainer. All right, now back to our misery. What's his usual heat? I would never go to 130. That's like too, too much for me at least. I don't know if the camera can take the Find out. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. We don't know if this camera will survive. <laughs> no, no. Is this beginner level for you? Like, you know, when you're breathing. It hurts. It's still burning. 
It's like a carrot. What? I told him like this is getting maybe a little bit too much. And he's like, no, no, no. Oh, if that tiris that niko ottaa kunnon löylyyn, niin sitten kannattaa lopettaa se hötkyy. What's what level are we at? Oh, oh, that's going to sit the puolen sävelissä mittari, että jos ei ole ruveta lämmin. We're at five, apparently. Oh, okay, so we shall breathe. Ah. What do I do? 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 Se ei vaan kukaan aukka sen oveen, että tuo löylykarkaa, niin tää rupee koht samaan löylyyn. Ei vittu, kyllä tää Timo on pakko lähteä. Our GoPro literally just stopped recording, shut itself off because of the heat. Yeah. You okay? Yeah. I've never done that before. That's the hottest thing I've ever experienced. 100% me too. By like a leap. Nice man. Legend. Hottest temperature in competition was... Uh, 158 degrees Celsius. Starting point? <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> you could literally bake potatoes. <laughs> From Iceman to Fireman, now out to the middle of the countryside. That was fucking insane. That was wild. That was wild. I feel like awake though. Me too. Like the sauna may be an understated element to this equation that we're looking for. Maybe one of the answers that even the Finns just take for granted because it's just a part of their life. Everyone seems to do it either for solitude and meditation or for community and engaging with others. Yeah, that's what he said. Strangers. Does this guy who's throwing this party have any idea that we're coming? He has zero idea that we are coming. So like free, we haven't seen a car. Oh, two hands on the wheel. We haven't seen a car. Can you please look on the road? It always happens to me when I drive. I get like hyped and then I start to move around on there. That's really dangerous actually. Anyways. I'm not pointing fingers, but um, we've driven into a ditch. Oh, it's bad. Stefan, what are you thinking? But we were so happy in Pjeksimaki and then this happened. <laughs> we are buried in the snow here. And if you look at the tracks, yeah. this is where he could have driven. This is where he ended up. I'm flying the drone to see how, where we are, if there's anything around us. And literally, we've stranded ourselves, and I use we kindly, in the middle <laughs> Thank of you. fucking nowhere. <laughs> so apparently this entire road is shut and closed. Like, th this doesn't even take you anywhere. Nico told me that one road will take longer time than the other. And he, he's sure right, because this will take much longer. And you didn't think in that moment to say, hold on, Nico told me not to take this one road. This no, might be it. We've been here for a while. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We are saved. Stefan. Mika. Mik. Nice Mika. to meet you. Does this happen sometimes on these routes or first time? It happens all the time. No worries. Hello, hello. I'm Nico's father. Ah, Nick, Mika's father. Ah. Yeah. Nice to hello. meet you. Thank you. Welcome to Finland. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yay, go Mika. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> thank you, Mika. You know what I've noticed about Finns? Is they're always willing to help. These people know people that we called two days ago that we've never met. And they came, two of them, to help us from both directions. The other thing that I've realized is that I'm gonna drive the rest of the way. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> Thank you, man. See you. Bye bye. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there she was. What? Look at the... that. It's a full truck. The beauty we come all this way for. Wow. <laughs> wow, nice to meet you. Thank you. Happy to have you here alive. Yeah. So that's yeah. step one. We are bringing this to a party we are not really invited to. Oh my wow. god. How did you build this? <laughs> oh my god. It might seem that uh, everything is crazy and crazy and crazy, but this is like my way of living. You yeah. Know, and my dream. So, yeah. And you like bringing the sauna to two people, seeing their faces, their smiles when they come out? That's right, yeah. If they can have some happiness from my work, what, what would be better? Yeah. Why do you think Finland has been voted the happiest country in the world? Maybe you could speak like uh, about the state of mind, I think. Everything's gonna be alright, don't you worry. 
mm. you know. Mm. There's a very kind spirit in Finnish people. The nation has been through so so much. And you know this word pretty sisu. Sisu is like courage and you know stiffness of mind, like don't give it up. What do I see here? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> let's go! <laughs> this is sick. Uh, becoming a superhero. <laughs> Everyone in the sauna are like in the same level. You can have even like a president or city major or something and then you know everyone are at the same line. Because you are naked in the naked yeah. physically and mentally. And like that's a unique part of the culture I think to experience the vulnerability too of being naked and accepting yourself naked next to a bunch of other strangers must be like kind of freeing. You're like f it. You know, you kind of accept yourself at the end of yeah. the day. You're stuck with get it. Yeah. Wow, this is beautiful in here. I love to show places for nice people oh. in my home. Do you think anybody outside of this village has ever attended this party before? Outside the village, really rare. <laughs> Have you ever seen a Formula car? F1? Hmm. Of course not. You wanna see? Entertained? <laughs> I had these on, and that's the loudest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, you're screaming now. <laughs> what? I was expecting a lot of things coming to Finland, and this is not one of them. How do you have an effort car in your like garden? Every Finnish guy has one formula. Don't you wanna come with me? <laughs> yeah. Go. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. See you at the party, bro. What the f are we doing? <laughs> First time being in a truck. Okay, we're ready to go. Let's go. We are actually rolling. Well, there we go. crazy that you and me were speaking on the telephone like 48 hours ago yeah. and I'm sitting in your truck. I wouldn't have anything better to do this weekend. Hey man. This is where the magic is supposed to happen? Ah, oh, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, I'm Thomas. Stefan, nice to meet you. Yeah, he's the owner. And you're the yeah. DJ? Yes. Wow. The two most, three most important guys here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here it comes. Brought a sauna on f***ing wheels to a party. <laughs> yeah. How are you feeling about this sauna truck? Wow, very good. Yeah. <laughs> very good. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. He says that there's like two or three hundred people coming here today. Oh. Wow. Count it, that lady. Beautiful uh, lady. Okay. <laughs> Is this gonna be a, an amazing party or what? Amazing We're gonna party. Yeah. Yes. Okay, this is the legendary venue that we've flown all this way for. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Stefan, we're here for the party tonight, yeah? I appreciate your hat. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hat. Hat. Do you speak Swedish? Svenska. Yeah, Swedish. Here comes our Svenska. Yeah, we've got a Svenska also. Here is the Svenska. Yeah. 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 On Sinikalla Sil. Oh my god. This place feels like a time capsule to the 90s. Maybe even further back. This is a, a relic. Wow. People are already... Hello, hello. Hi, hi. I have a feeling that we're gonna make so many new friends tonight. I have a feeling as well. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. Whoa. What is this? Wow. Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa. Is it the real one? You is this like an antique store? Hello, Kale Kusta. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Why are you arranging this uh, party tonight? <laughs> yeah, I love it. Business. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so I guess it's time for, and then you do the other part. I guess it's time for. Was that too fast or? <laughs> That's fine. Party. Thank you.
holding a camera in here is like holding like a big red sign saying, I'm not from here. I was just wondering why I am here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> People keep asking us that. We're here because Finland is the happiest country in the world. Well, yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. We have so many happy things here. <laughs> People here take care of each other as well. Yeah. We've yeah. had so many people help us. Yeah. Well, everyone here is saying we are the happiest country. I've That's yet true. to meet someone who, who has said they don't believe it. We love, we love Finland. I love you too. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Oh. <laughs> Manliest dudes are just big teddy bears here. It's a good hug. After befriending some people from the party, it was surprisingly easy to pull some people in with us to finally get the sauna truck. <laughs> For me, to finish sauna is uh, more like friendship, sharing the feelings between other people. Of course, sometimes we start singing. Some guy just uh, trying to tell that uh, how it's going with your girlfriend or something like that. So that's the real point. It yeah. doesn't matter what you look like, it's just being friends and with everybody. So yeah. it's, uh, we are all equal here. five ladies we were dancing with now, they told me that tomorrow at 12, they are all gonna compete in an ice swimming competition in a lake here. After meeting these wonderful ladies on the dance floor, they invited us to something quite unique. Ice swimming competition. Ice swimming competition. Ice swimming is rumored to be maybe as old of a tradition as the sauna culture in Finland. It is a weekly for some and for others daily aspect of life, which we now in recent science know is immensely beneficial in short increments for our physical and mental well-being. And so naturally, as we're here to experience everything Finnish, we said yes. We are on our way to an ice swimming competition that we are going to witness the lovely ladies that we met last night. Did you hear that? That was Thomas just signing up for the competition. Get yeah, up for Thomas yeah. actually here. Hey. Can you please stay focused on the f***ing road? <laughs> Oh, it's right there. There they are. My, my heart is actually racing now. Hello, hello. <laughs> are you happy? Yes! <laughs> oh, sh it's freezing. Thomas Brog. He's done 425 competitions uh, last year. 400 competitions? That's more than one per day. Yeah. <laughs> this is the. Bridge to hell. <laughs> now we go swim. <laughs> Feeling ready? Let's go. Excited? No. Oh, no, 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 no. Wow, the first one is already in. Wow. Are you kidding me? He's just chilling. After a party on a Sunday freaking morning, they're just going swimming into the ice water. Are you happy? Very happy. Yeah. Clap it up. Finnish woman. Finnish yeah. woman, yeah. <laughs> just for context, this is how dressed I am, and I'm already freezing. I can't really feel my hands. Oh my god, she's going very, very far. Very. very far. These ladies were a lot more inspiring than we originally anticipated. Off camera, we learned that one of them had lost two of her children in an accident just two years ago, and another had lost her husband. But they've stuck together and go into the cold weekly, if not daily. Hence well done. their nickname. <laughs> The power wow. ladies. Amazing. Feel like a winner. <laughs> oh, you are a winner too. These women are making this look so easy. Any famous last words? <laughs> I hope I come back. <laughs> <laughs> the women are chin chilling. Men the men are, are like. Ah! What do you think of that? <laughs> I think that's amazing because we have just been thinking like, where are all the men? Uh, yeah. Strong women in yeah. Finland, right? Yeah, definitely. After interacting with many Finns in our four-day trip in the country. Most who had no clue who we were or what we were doing here, we have to say that we did feel something special here. Oh. Yes, take a deep breath. Oh. Well done, take a oh. deep breath. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. oh. boy! Oh. I'm sorry to say, but you were screaming, like wasting the energy. Yeah. <laughs> I figured I would didn't do it the right way. <laughs> a sense of unity and looking after each other, a kindness and love for laughter. It's my turn. <laughs> for Finland! <laughs> Oh my god. How is he doing this? I am happy. <laughs> Putting some pride to the yes that we name out here, representing. <laughs> we also learned that after many years of war in the previous century against their big neighbor Russia, that there's also an inherent courage 
and gratefulness for the current peace. Finns seem to know how to make the most of the simple pleasures in life. Nature, saunas, cold dips, parties, and a good sense of humor. Bort? <laughs> Bort? Oh, come on. Bort? Stefan Stauer. Stefan Tauler. <laughs> and so, after this trip, we really have to admit that despite both of us having family roots in the friendly rival country of Sweden and having arrived as total skeptics, that Finland being the happiest country in the world makes a whole lot of sense to us now. One, two, three, Finland!